Welcome to Flavor of Marriage. I'm Wendy. I'm Jerry. Now today we're going to be talking about how you can use... Actually, I thought maybe we'd talk about what happened last night. Wow, um, really? We need to do this right now? You said you had a headache. Well, I did. All right, we went out for Chinese food, I got a headache, so I went to bed. Yeah, and while you went to bed, I had some extra time on my hands. Okay, I don't want to know what you were doing with your hands. I was using them to get on the computer, get on the internet, and look up getting a headache from Chinese food. That's what you were doing online? Yes, and it turns out it is a myth, Wendy. You don't get headaches from MSG. Really? Think about it. The country of China has about a billion people. Right. All of them, for the most part, eat Chinese food. It's their staple. And you don't hear about all of China having a headache. Well, what about the wives? You talk to them? No, I didn't talk to any of them. I don't speak Mandarin. Oh, and whose fault is that, Jerry? I'm just saying, maybe you get all of your facts straight before you go make an assumption. Fine, fair enough. You know, when people think about MSG and they think about umami, when they hear the word MSG, interestingly enough, a lot of people think that it has something to do with Chinese restaurant syndrome or, or they're, they're gonna get lots of headaches if they consume it. But you know, as I travel around the world and I go to Asia, where MSG is used a lot, it's fascinating that I don't hear stories about Chinese restaurant syndrome. And in fact, in those countries, it's sort of a given that it's used all the time and nobody complains about it. But let's take a look at what the science has to say. And in fact, MSG has been studied time and time again, starting in 1958, by important groups of scientists and governmental agencies. And time after time, what has happened is the data comes back and the conclusion is that MSG is a perfectly safe ingredient. So much so that there's not even an upper limit on the amount that you can put into food. And it's not just the US. It's also governmental and scientific bodies in Europe, in Asia, and in fact, even at the UN with the World Health Organization, over and over again, it has been proven to be a completely safe molecule. So basically, MSG is you. What, what do you mean? Well, like sometimes I'll meet new people and they'll be like, whoa, your husband, he's like real big and tough looking. <laughs> That's true. Which of course I'm like, no, that guy, he, he makes me kill the spiders. Like he's just a sweetheart. And I'm, I'm dangerous, first off. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> All right you're dangerous. Ow! I think move. I, no, I cannot move. I hurt move. my back. Okay. Here, let's. Ah. I'm going to. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Okay. okay.